Hey guys, so once again it's CKC weekend and I want to try to vlog today while I'm here. Um, it's Saturday, I'm here for day two of the expo. I went yesterday for about three hours, which was not enough time, so I'm really glad that I bought um, two day admission, so yesterday and today. Um, sorry, the lighting's gonna be terrible in here. I actually scored, I got a really great parking spot. I can see the expo right here. It's only three minutes from my house, which is, I can't even tell you, I love it. I can leave, go have lunch, come back. Um, parking though, it's the downtown, so I have to really get lucky, and I always do for some reason. Saturdays, there's always a parking spot. Um, give you a little glimpse into my town. That's the downtown. That's a park over there. So it's at the Radisson Hotel, which is right across the street. Um, I mean, right down the street from my house, which is awesome. So they have most of the expos here. And then a couple, like two blocks down that way is a, um, like a, it's called the Verizon Wireless Arena, but um, we get concerts and, um, I've seen Carrie Underwood there twice. Um, we get the American Idol tour, so you think you can dance tour. And actually, Kevin Hart is coming here next Thursday night, and hubby and I are going with some friends. So that's exciting. So I love my downtown. There's a lot here. Even though it's Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm sure people have never heard of it before, but we do get stuff, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try to vlog while I'm in there. Like I said, I went yesterday for a couple hours, and I shopped and I have a little bit more to get today. I have some Copic markers I have to get and um, some other things that I wasn't sure of yesterday. So um, I'm gonna head in now because there's people walking by looking at me vlogging in my car. Um, so I'm gonna head in and we'll see what I, um, we'll see what I find, so. So I just wanna show you real quick, that's my car right there. Um, so this is my downtown and I just wanna show you, it's actually a beautiful day today. Um, and that is the Expo Center. So just to show you how great of a parking spot I got. Oh, don't mind loud people. Right there. So heading into the Expo. Um, yeah, we'll see you inside. So now for the fun part, I'm going to be sharing my haul and kind of telling you about my weekend. Um, just kind of going through all the stuff that I have. This is, I, I kind of like to see what I want to save. This is the, um, the little program that they give you, I guess. And then this is the mailer that they send you and, um, sorry, my address is on the back. So you get like a coupon code and, um, shows you who's going to be there, things like that. So, um... Because I pre-register it online, you always get a gift, which is cool, and I always like to do that. So this year it was a double um, embossing folder, and it was sponsored by Sizzix, but it was a Tim Holtz one, which was really cool. So I'm really excited. There's that one. looks like a notebook, and then this one's got all kinds of distress on it, and I can actually see some numbers and things like that. So sorry, guys. I It's early again, and I always, I always sound like a guy in the morning, I feel like. <laughs> um... Okay, so when I first got there, I had, um, you know, I picked up my tickets and everything, and it was really cool because um, I just printed mine out online, but I like to save it. I like to save, like, different things from the show. Um, but the wristbands, I, I hate having to put them on because I like to save them, 
but this year my friend Sue was weren't volunteering at the door so I just was able to show them to her and go in um, so hey Sue so Sue was so sweet Sue volunteers usually and they get some perks from volunteering so when she when we were chatting together um, she was wearing this really cool sweatshirt and it said crop it like it's hot and it was so cute so she was like well I get all these coupons for 50% off apparel because I volunteered she's like I'll give you some so Sue thank you so much um, she ended up giving me two 50% off vouchers for t-shirts and they always have cute t-shirts but I always think they're so expensive so I was so excited that I was able to pick up um, some t-shirts so let me just adjust this because it's very bright um, this is like a bright bright peachy pink it's so adorable. So I got this t-shirt and says, oh snap. I don't know why it's so wrinkly. But, um, love it. And then the second one I got, oh, so that one rang up $9. And then this one that I got, um, rang up as 5 which I think is, like, awesome. So it says, Crafty Girls Rock. And it's not the same girl on the cover, but it's kind of like a similar style. So that's cute. So this one was a small, but it's huge. So I'm going to see if I can either shrink it or just leave it as a house shirt. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get something to focus on. So the first thing I got was this Epiphany Crafts tool. Now, I I really like these. I already have it in a circle. And I, I keep thinking I have it in the hexagon, too. I don't know why. or Either that or I want to get it. But the girl at the booth was making the cutest little embellishments that would be so cute in mini albums or on scrapbook layouts and I really want to get back into doing scrapbooking layouts and she had all this pattern paper out she was making the cutest little things and the hearts looked adorable um, so they were having a show special where you buy the epiphany crafts tool along with the little bubble caps they call them um, for $19.95 so I thought that was a cool deal and they had some really cute pictures on the wall using this tool and I'll insert them here and on one of them they used this really cute um, I believe the name of it is the chevron punch but I asked her if I could take some of them so I could find it. I really just wanted them, but um, look at how cute that shape is. And that was used on one of the scrapbook layouts that I just showed you. So I'm on the hunt. This is my next tool to find. If anybody has this tool and they don't use it, I would gladly um, PayPal you for it uh, if you can offer me a good price. So if anybody has this tool, I would love to take that off your hands. So I got this one here, and I cannot wait to start playing with that. So another booth I was at had these really awesome embossing folders. Look at how cute these are. This one has the postal theme. It's got the stamps and the like the airmail look. I love this. And look at this one, you guys. I can't, I can't believe the awesome stuff that they had. Mustaches and look at the cute little nerdy glasses. I mean, you guys, I love when I find stuff that I'm just like, I have to have. And I was such a nerd there. You should have seen me. Every time I found something that I loved, I would literally pick it up and like hold it against my chest, like like holding it. I'm like, this is mine. Like I did it with everything that I found that I loved. It was so, so lame, but I just got so excited. So there was another booth that had like a whole wall of stuff for $1.50 and a lot of it was foam squares. So I picked up a whole bunch um, it's hard for me to find the really, really small millimeter, like for thickness for foam squares. So they did have some, um, but these are half inch. So I picked up two packs of the large square, two packs of the large circle, and then I was able to find them in quarter inch, which is really, really great. So I got two packs of the small circles and two packs of the small squares because I'm running really, really low and I need more. And I love being able to find the smaller uh, thickness um, and then this was also $1.50 they had this is the Teresa Collins you make me or you are my happy collection I love the peaches and the pinks and the little cream like craft colored I actually have a mini album already prepped and cut with these pages because uh, I got like some sort of I don't know if I ever did on a haul video but Hobby Lobby had this really cool scrapbook kit it comes with pattern paper and like stickers and stuff 
So I already have a mini album ready with this collection and I thought it'd be great to have some sort of extra element like for an embellishment. So I picked that up and then, oh my gosh, I was so excited. Um, I found this die. Now I had seen this used in Amador's video. He made the most amazing shaker card using this diamond die and I was like, <gasps> I have to have it. And then I saw that came with a feather and I'm like, are you kidding me? So when I saw this on that wall, I almost died. Um, there was these two young boys working the booth and they must have thought I was crazy because you should have seen me. Um, but for $12.50, I thought that was a great price. And I was texting with Sabrina. I was kind of showing her some of the stuff that I bought and she was like, oh my gosh. Like she was so excited to see that I found this. So when I went back the next day, I couldn't resist. I wanted to get her one. So Sabrina, you know this is coming to you. That one's for you. So yes, that booth was totally, totally exciting. Now this stamp set I had looked at on Friday and passed it up because I thought it was kind of expensive. But for some reason, when I be went back on Saturday, um, I had a change of heart, and I do not regret it one bit. This was $17, okay? So the first time I looked at it, I was like, oh my god, I don't know, it's kind of small. But can we just like take a look at all of the awesome sentiments that are on here? Okay, so this is called A Hug and a Mug, and it is by Taylor Expressions. Now it is made in the US, so you know, that's um, that makes me feel better about the price, but look at this. So you have your sentiment here and it says coffee makes us awesome, makes me happy, is a hug and a mug. Okay, look at this. I like big cups and I cannot lie. Hello. Um, this is your special blend, but you get a donut and then look at right here. Good, good friends don't spill your beans. How cute is that? And then you have the little, this is like a little steam and it has like a little heart at the top, like a little loop-de-loop -loop kind of like sketch look. Then you have that you could use as steam coming out. You have all these cute little different mugs. Look at the cool like graphics on those. This is one looking from the top, which is you've never seen that before. And then you have your little to-go cup. You could fussy cut these out. These could be used in shaker cards. You could have little beans and little teeny coffees in your shaker cards. Well, they're a little bit bigger on the back, so maybe not. They look a little bit smaller. Sorry, it's getting bright. They look a little bit smaller on the front than they do on the back, but that is a great set. I don't regret that price now that I've been looking at it since I've been home. Like, I love it. So, okay, so long story. Yeah, it took me a day to decide on that, and I'm glad I did on day two. And then they had these Glitz Roller Stamps. It was two for five, but I only ended up liking three of them because I already have the anchor and I already have the feather. So I picked up this one here. It's cute little um, little bows. This is a cute little arrow pattern. And then I really like this one here. It is um, all the little teeny tiny little triangles. These are gonna look really good in my art journals, um, especially with all the new Stamp Boutique images that I just got. Hopefully I've already uploaded that video by now. But um, yeah, so I really was excited about finding those. There was a really cool booth that had a lot of um, like card kits and a whole wall of the Project Life mini kits. And I was so, so excited when I saw this. They have a Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm version. And I'm not sure if I knew about this already. I thought I did, but I don't know. I, I don't remember ever seeing this. I don't remember. Okay, I sound like an idiot. Um, <laughs> it's still so early, you guys. I'm sorry. Let me just take a sip of coffee and kind of like wake my brain up. Hold on. Okay, um, so yeah, it was only $8, that's whatever. I love the Lucky Charm collection. I can't get enough of it. I'm like, I don't know why I like it so much because I don't know if it's because it reminds me of like all those little cool little charms and jewelry and like plastic jewelry we would have in the 80s. I was born in 81, so like, you know, the jelly shoes and like the rabbit's foot and little ponies, like everything here reminds me of like the colorful plastic you know, toys we had, such simple stuff in the 80s. I don't know what it is. We had, did you not have like a little box of like little charms or something? Like, I know there's pictures of what I'm talking about and if I can remember, I'm gonna put it in this video, but like if you're an 80s child, you know what I'm talking about. So, had to have that. And they had some cute little flares. They had a whole table of flares and I'm gonna insert that picture. 
So there was a few cute ones that I picked up. Um, a lot of times they'll have one kind of with your city name on it. So this says CKC 2015 Manchester and that's um, actually the picture right there is a scene of our downtown. It's all like old mill buildings along the river. It's really pretty if you're driving through at night. But that's the flare for here. Um, this one is pretty with the rainbow colors. It says more ideas than time. And then, I don't know, I think I got the wrong one because I don't really crop, but I liked this one with, um, if it said craft, it'd be cuter, but I cropped past my bedtime. And there was a second, uh, fourth one I forgot to get that I thought was funny and it said, um, uh, I went to CKC, jealous. So I thought that one's cute. I, I should have got it, but I do have a picture of it. So they had these, um shaker windows and I'm sure people have seen these before and I was looking at them on Friday and I thought let me come back on Saturday and kind of like think about it more so I was looking at them and I you know I was like let me just try one of each we'll see what happens I know I can I have a punch I have two large punches that are round and I have a spellbinder set of circles so I was like I'm sure I'm gonna have something that fits that and a square is so easy to cut out okay so I thought I'm fine I came home and I don't have anything that's going to fit the exact front of this window. Um, these are so cool, so convenient, and these are going to make shaker cards so much easier. But I didn't realize that, um, you know, you'd have to actually cut out the window frame and has to be a specific size. So at first I was like, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And then I was watching Amador's video and he got some stuff from Tracy's store, Art Attack. And I guess these come with a matching like cutout window, but the booth that I went to didn't have it. So I'm gonna have to go online and see what I can do. I'm gonna have to find the matching pre-cut front. But anyway, I got some shaker pockets to try. So there was another booth that I was really so excited to find some really awesome embossing folders at. Look at these, you guys. I got one with all cameras. I, you know, embossing folders are underrated. I love my collection, and I have one of those black binders. Um, I'll do like a, if I'm bored soon, I'll do like a, an embossing folder share, um, but I love adding to my collection. I really love embossing folders, you guys. Um, and, you know, I have so many ideas, As even as I look at these, like I can't even tell you. So, excited about that one. I got these little paws, because you know I love my kitties. Um, I have six fur babies, yes. Anyone that hasn't had me heard me mention that before, I have six kitty cats, so. The things I can't resist, cameras, cats, feathers, and coffee. So you'll see why, I'd, you know, it gets me in trouble when it comes to craft shopping. <laughs> then these, so obviously feathers, I couldn't resist. I love, well, hold on, how can I get you to focus on this? Look at all the patterns on these, aren't they pretty? Um, I love, love, love anything geometric and graphic, and especially when it combines like the whole like Native American feather look. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love everything about that. So I had to pick that up. And look, I could even fussy cut those out once I emboss them. Right, right? And then one of the things I did find on my wish list was Wink Estella um, pens. I had been looking for them even last year. I couldn't find them because they didn't have them in um, clear. So I got clear, I got gold, and I got um, black. So I'm excited to play with those, especially with my new stamps. I keep talking about them. You guys, I have so much stuff to play with. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like I need to take like a week off of work and just play, but I know I can't do that. So at that same booth when I was checking out, I actually saw this Uniball Signo gel pen, um, the broad tipped one, and I'm really excited to try a bunch. I'm gonna try a bunch of different white pens just to compare them, but I need them, oop, I need them for my mixed media and for highlighting, you know, some, for adding highlights on my digital girls that I color. So I picked up that and then, um, I don't have like a huge collection of stickles, but I like to have some cool colors on hand because I do, do I do use them from time to time. It's another underrated little thing we have in our stash. Um, so these three colors I thought looked really nice together and I love them alone. Cool mint, gold, and orange slice. So I picked up those three and that was all from the same booth as the um, embossing folders. So when I saw these stamps, I like literally squealed, picked it up and like held it to my chest and hugged it. Look at this, you guys. I have been hunting for this online it's like sold out everywhere and the first booth i got uh first booth that i saw it at was the booth with the embossing folders and 
it was like 25 bucks or something and I'm like okay hold on there's more than one left just go look around see if you can find it cheaper somewhere else and I did so I was able to find this for like $21.95 at another booth so oh, I'm so happy I have this so I got that and then they uh, had Tim Holtz stencils so I picked up these two I had debated this one because I was unsure how well these would hold up for like molding paste if I did it. I have to be super careful, but because it's so delicate, so I kind of went back and forth with that, but I just decided to pick it up because it was there. And then I had been looking for one very similar to this with the teeny tiny little holes because I've seen this used creatively and I love the effect you can get by using this in different ways. And I definitely wanted to add that to my collection. I love Tim Holtz stuff. Um, I really do. So I, I'm, I don't think I'll ever part with any of it to be honest. <laughs> Um, I feel like it would just never go out of style, honestly. You guys can beg to differ, but I don't think it will. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was really excited. They had this uh, a whole, whole huge thing of all the small blueprints. And uh, that's why it's like, it's really good when you go there. You gotta like really look around, look up high, crouch down low. They have a lot of stuff at the bottom that's not out and you guys really gotta look, but they had a whole big bin at the bottom, all full of these and 10.99 is kind of a lot, but you know, I don't care. I picked up ones that I love, love, love. Um, so I picked up the small blueprints coffee ones. I picked up some Halloween ones because these will be great for like little ATC cards or tags. Um, love those. I can use them and make some really cool backgrounds now that I have some really nice stencils. And then I want to make more projects for my mom. Um, I need to make her more stuff. She would appreciate it. She loves crafty stuff. So I picked up some nautical themed ones and of course the crab because my family's from Baltimore and we love, love getting steamed crabs from the bay. So had to have that one. And then this one's also very nautical themed. Um, and I have a lot of mermaid stuff. My mom loves mermaids, loves, loves the ocean. So stuff to make her projects. So that was a really nice heartfelt haul. So let me just put those away real quick. Now this one I already opened cause I was looking at it more and playing with it, but this is a really, really cute little, um, crab die from memory box. Um, it's called Coastal Crab, and it's so cute. And the girl at the booth was so nice. Um, both days that I went to her booth, if you wanted to see how any die cut, she would take it out of the package and cut it for you. Like, she was so cool. So she cut me a little blue crab. Um, this is the die. It's so cute. It's like the perfect size. And she cut out a little crab for me. And um, it's hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you. But it does emboss it. It's a little... Let me see if I can angle it. It's a little hard to see, but it does have a really nice embossing to kind of outline the body shape more. Um, I'm so excited to have this. Um, another thing I'll probably never part with, just because it means so much to, to like, not mean so much to our family, but like, you know, it's cool when you find a crafty supply that has, you know, it's such a unique thing, like having a crab. But for us, it's something that's so relevant to us, if that makes sense. So I'm so, so excited that I found that. This Spellbinders Cascading Hearts is so, so cute. Um, I was eyeball eyeballing it for a while. And then when I ever saw the card that they made on the front, I have um, an umbrella stamp with matching dye from Pink Paisley, the Hello Sunshine collection. So how cute is that? And then if you can see where they added like different colors behind the hearts, isn't that adorable? So I really love this die. I can't wait to play with it. So I got that and then uh, my big purchase that every time I go there is usually getting some Copic markers because if you buy 10 or more, they're $5.24 a piece. So these are the Copics that I got. I wanted to add a couple more colors to my collection. So I got pink, two reds, um, two different shades of green, a blue, a brown, and some darker grays to be able to do black hair a little bit better. Um, so these are the colors that I got. I got two, four, six, eight, ten. I actually got eleven. So I'm excited to expand my Copic collection. So one of the last booths that I had gone to was the Stamps of Life booth and um, <clears throat> those are by Stephanie Bernard and she was actually there. Um, 
I don't remember seeing her there any of the previous years, but I guess she has been because we were chatting for a little bit. Um, she's such a sweet, sweet girl. Um, we were chatting um, uh, for a little bit and yeah, it was really cool to meet her. So when we were talking, um, she had said she had been there the past couple years, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. But I bought um, this stamp and die set. Oh, like I said before, can't resist anything coffee themed. So I picked up these and it's just a really nice size coffee cup. So a lot of the other ones I have are small and it's, I just feel like I could do like a whole card focus on the coffee cup. So I liked this size. It's got a lot of different sentiments and then of course obviously the matching die. So loved that. Um, I didn't sign up for her Stamps of Life Club just because I... I don't like getting stuff or I don't know what's coming. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't. So I just didn't sign up for it. But I did also pick up this third third stamp set. And it's for, like, if you made, hand make a card. So you get the Made with Love, Handmade for You. Um, this one has, a uh, you like, a barcode on it. It says, this card is priceless. I think that's so cute. And then, look, um, don't you dare throw it away. Uh, I spent hours creating this card just for you. Um, yes, I made this card just for you. So I think the sentiments are really, really cute. And it's like, it's just adorable. So I picked up those three. And um, yeah, if you are interested in uh, Stephanie Bernard's Stamps of Life Club, there you go. You can look that up there. Um, it's not for me. I, I like to pick out what I get. But um, yeah, sweet, sweet girl. Um, we chatted for a little bit. It was the end of the day. Everyone was packing up. So it was just her and I just chatting. And really nice to meet designers. Um, their work is really cool. It's cool to see them there, like, really, really um, supporting it. So that was the last thing I got. Because I, I don't know why. I keep buying wash even though I barely use it. But I don't care. We all do it. <laughs> so I got these three. I got one that has the admit one tickets they're adorable I can use that for a lot of different things and I got like a vintage um I don't know if it's like a navy or airmail it's got anchors on it and uh sailboats and a compass it's awesome so I got that one and then this is another kind of vintage one so I picked up these three I couldn't resist and that was like my last minute hurry run type score so that was everything I got. I had the best time. I love being there. I just love being with other crafters and we chit chat and it was so nice running into people. Oh, I ran into Phyllis. Phyllis Phyllis is one of my subbies that I met in AC Moore a couple months ago and I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, it was so cool. She came up and asked me if I made videos and told me she was a subscriber and I couldn't believe it. So it was so, so nice to meet you back then Phyllis and it was so sweet of you to come say hi to me again when you saw me this weekend. It was so cool. I hope to run into you again. I'm glad you got to go to the convention. I hope you had a great time. Shout out to my photography teacher that um, I got to spend a little bit of time with again this year. She was there again this year. I had run into her last year if you watched my vlogs and this year we were able to actually chit chat some and uh, share some of the projects that we make. Um, she actually still has a studio at home from being a photographer, so she invited me over maybe one day to do some keepsake boxes. Um, she makes a lot of money at craft fairs making them, and I loved her work, so we may get together and craft in her studio, which is so exciting. So it was a great weekend. I was able to see a lot of my crafty friends, and it was so nice to be able to spend time with them and... Um, be in a cool place with stuff that we love to look at. So I had a great time. Thanks guys for watching. I think that was pretty much everything that I got. I can't wait to start making projects. I've been dying to rip into everything. But like that button says, more ideas than time. So on that note, um, hope you guys are having a crafty weekend and I'm gonna go get crafty myself. So thanks guys and um, next week is National Scrapbooking Day, so leave a comment below and tell me what you're going to be doing to celebrate. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!